Plenty of presidents have gotten hammered over controversial policy decisions. When it comes to Donald Trump and pulling out of the Paris Climate Accords, I have never, ever seen anything like it. Uh, the tone of the coverage, from the straight news coverage to the news analysis to the outright commentary, has been overwhelmingly negative. I don't think there's any question about that. Just to give you a sense of the sheer tonnage, the sheer throw weight, as they say in the nuclear arms race, of uh, what uh, the president is up against on this, and it's certainly fair for debate and it's controversial and a lot of uh, corporate leaders as well as environmentalists and others and ordinary Americans think the U.S. should not have pulled out. But the New York Times, in addition to the main uh, news story, had these headlines. Making his case, Trump cited dubious data. Handing Chinese a gift, the chance for global leadership. Washington Post, Trump's climate deal decisions alarms leaders worldwide. Trump's Paris speech needs a serious fact check. Then you get to the opinion pages. New York Times on the left, Paul Krugman. Trump gratuitously rejects Paris Climate Accord. On the right, David Brooks, one dis our disgraceful exit from the Paris Accord. Uh, and then you have an environmentalist named Bill McKibben, Trump's stupid and reckless climate decision. It goes on and on and on. Politico says this was a middle finger to the world. And here I think we're getting to the heart of it. So naturally, I think there's a, there's a lot of sympathy for and concern for the environment in the mainstream media. Fine. And at the same time, I think there's a kind of a preference for international cooperation. So now you have, you know, all the countries in the world, except for two, came together uh, in this Paris deal. It's somewhat symbolic. It's non-binding. But nevertheless, it's, a, to a lot of people, an important statement of principle uh, to try to combat global warming. And so that was seen as a kind of an isolationist move by the president. But most of all, I think it's personal. I think it reflects a, a kind of a visceral feeling uh, among many journalists and commentators and others, uh, that, that Donald Trump is uh, turning his back on the world, that he doesn't care about the environment, and all of that. And so all of these things sort of came together. You know, it's not exactly like the president's been getting great coverage during his first four months in office, or that he got great coverage during the campaign. The studies have shown how overwhelmingly negative that coverage has been. But then you combine the fact that this is about the environment, that it's about world cooperation, uh, that Steve Bannon, among others, were leading the charge within the White House uh, against the likes of Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump uh, to withdraw from this Paris deal. And I just think it, it is a moment in time when, you know, there are times when there is bias in the press, but it's kind of well hidden or it's subtle or it's more about selectivity. I don't think this is is very well hidden at all. I think it's pretty much out in the open. And that's the part that troubles me. You know, I'm all for aggressive coverage. What will be the impact? Is, did, did Trump overstate the impact on U.S. jobs? Uh, what will this do to the rest of the world? I, you know, I think these are all important issues to discuss, debate, and analyze. But if there's one thread that runs through much of this coverage and commentary, it's uh, a kind of rejection of or even repulsion against Donald Trump. And that's the part that bothers me because we're four months into the presidency and we and the country have got a long way to go.